Hi there, Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your main 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, this is the spread that we are looking at um, for those of you guys in the sign of Aries. Please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every people out there. Um, so take a look in your sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign as well, the videos. Anyways, um, yeah, let's just go straight into this. I am using two different decks right now. We have the usual tarot at the middle of the spread, and over here gives us, um, uh, it's really more of a shamanic messages, shamanic channeling, so to say, that will give us some form of information on the underlying currents of how things are going to be for the month of May for um, in terms of our love life and relationship and especially on the messages that what we need to know and understand as we move forward um, this month so um, in this spread I usually focus at the middle part of the card uh, of the deck uh, the spread basically um, to give us more information on the energy and focus um, of what's really going through um, to a lot of Aries people out there um, overall and we have here the king of pentacles so this gives me more of a feeling we're in um, this is really more of a situation wherein you are hoping for something hoping to receive something for some people this can be an area we're in you know um you are expecting things to go your way and you are quite you might be caught off guard with how things actually unfold with the month of may i kind of feel that for a lot of areas people there are specific people around you or um specific aries people who might be um playing like a, a a poker face you know um they have a mask or a front that they show the world that you know i am tough i'm strong you know i am rich you know i'm not suffering at all but uh, what they are truly feeling is entirely different so it gives me a feeling we're in you know this person has a mask as a whole because as we can see at the top of uh, the card we have the eight of cups and then we have here the the lovers card in reverse and another of uh, a king and swords over here so i kind of feel this is more of a, a person of or a situation we're in whoever this person is which they can be you they can be a person that you know or you know maybe this is a man that you are attracted to or in a relationship with or you are in concern with or it could be you know entirely someone different or you know this person is definitely going to be playing a role in your life as a whole but um it makes me feel that this person is somehow emotionally wrecked or you know there is some form of pain or hurtful situation that has happened to him but he's not entirely um mourning over that uh, in fact he is trying to ignore that he's trying to think that it's not it doesn't exist you know it is something like of a wound in in their life you know and we are definitely seeing that and maybe they have been thinking about that situation for quite some time as well but um they they're really good at acting they're they're good at playing tough they're good in showing people that they're cold that they don't really care even though um you know we're not really entirely seeing that they do care but we do know that there is still some things in this person's mind that they cannot entirely remove a certain memory they cannot entirely remove a certain situation in their head so um again this could be you this could be your partner or this could be you know a person that you had a connection with in the past as well maybe um he has a different vibe now um very different from what you used to know 
but um, this reading is like telling us that you know um, things are not what it seems and they might be feeling much more than you think that they do and um, this is going to speak more or it's going to be felt much more stronger as the month unfolds this month of May so there could be some form of fluctuations when it comes to their emotions as well and with their actions all at the same time when we have here the the seven of swords this is an area of a situation wherein maybe you're thinking too much or you're thinking about certain things that that maybe you should not think about anymore so I do not really want to keep telling people that this could be something from the past, but um, that remains a possibility. It makes me feel that this is something of a, of a situation wherein you should be over with this by now, but you're not, you know. <laughs> this could be a situation wherein you're thinking about something that has not been fully realize something that has not been fully satisfied as a whole as well so maybe there uh this could be having a link to some form of regrets or some form of situations that did not work out we do have the five of pentacles here and, and this is really more of a situation wherein you know that form of relationship probably has to the test of time but at the same time there is an element wherein you know things are not really working out things are not smooth but for some reason you just cannot forget about that situation and it's all in your head it's all in your head or it's all in this person's head again whoever this person is um in a, in your life aries so um with this month of may we have the world card beside this person and the lovers in reverse and this is more of a situation wherein there is a chance that some form of a breakthrough can occur in this person's life and that relationship um there's going to be some form of shake up right there there could be a decision of some kind that might occur or a, a final um whenever there is a reverse lover's card i usually see this as a point wherein you know something inevitable is going to occur no matter what change um is going to be happening in a relationship that change is going to occur you know um if in the past this has resulted person to be very indecisive holding on to two things at the same time this is going to be a point wherein you know there is going to be a clear decision and a clear path that is going to be presented to that person so that you know they come to to realize some form of truth that maybe they did not focus themselves too much on before this can also be a situation wherein you know um it's like the universe is forcing a situation in their life you know it's like telling us that you need to wake up you need to to do this whatever it is it could be it could be a situation wherein you need to sort out a relationship or it could be also a situation wherein you know um something unexpected can really occur right here so if this is a relationship that you have been thinking about but maybe you're not engaged with that person yet or you haven't been really um making any form of contact with them or you're not really making any form of attachment to them for whatever reason because we do have here the, pen, uh, the king of pentacles and the thing with the king of pentacles is that they have a huge ego so this could also be a situation where it you know maybe you have um run away or maybe you have been very detached emotionally you, you're not connected with a certain person in your life and with this king of swords you know you're trying to be this is really more of a situation where in someone is really harsh someone is really cold you know so there's com some some form of um situation we're in something is quite icy and um with this 
lover's card in reverse this could be a situation we're in you know um it could be either a breakup or a situation that is inevitable to happen so if you are to to reach out to someone or if someone is about to enter your life uh regardless what your own thoughts are regardless what it is that you decide upon it's gonna happen so that's how i usually see whenever there's a reverse card because um reverses are more of a situation where in we already lost control over certain things you know there is something that we cannot control anymore when it is upright uh sometimes you know we have that we have our feet on the ground basically in most cases and this usually gives an energy we're in you know for some people you know you know that you have to make a decision but for uh, most of the time we don't we know that there is an option that we need to take but we sometimes choose to um to delay it you know we have control over the situation but when it is in reverse it makes me always feel that regardless what change that's going to be happening for you um something unexpected it's something is just totally not within your control that might be happening during the month of may or the very least it's going to be something prominent in your life as a whole we have here the Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this gives me a situation wherein there could be some form of um, a new start of some kind when it comes to our love life. It could be something that you have been planning or maybe you have thought about. Some form of idea in your head um, has a chance to come into fruition even though you did not entirely make any concrete movement you you did not really make any concrete plans what is impossible to do in the past seems possible during this time so there is a form of energy of that in this situation i'm not really seeing you making any form of movement yet um but it makes me feel that whenever the Ace of Cups occurs, you know, there is always uh, a burst of new energy into a relationship, into a situation, an offer of some kind, some form of happy surprise usually happens. And it usually um, is a very harmonious energy as a whole as well. So um, you could be being more open in observing someone in particular, someone that has been that has everything that you you know it could be that this person is someone that you view as the perfect woman but you sometimes feel that they are it's hard to actually have them you know and i'm not saying that they do not like you uh, in most cases this could be someone that you already had a relationship with or there, it is really possible for the two of you to be together but sometimes you know life happens and there could be other circumstances that makes you feel overwhelmed of not being too um you're you're not being too deserving for this person maybe they are like a princess or a queen and maybe you know i don't know there could be some form of confidence issue or there could be some form of hesitations in the past that is making you doubt um, the situation but there's definitely going to be some form of culmination right here because you know uh, there has been some form of delay but some form of change needs to happen with your relationship with this person as a whole again um, it doesn't have to be um, someone that you like or someone that you love all we can really verify here is that there's going to be some form of change in terms of a certain contract in terms of a certain relationship some form of path is really going to be opening up for you and that can change an overall atmosphere of a situation i do know that there is going to be some form of important conversations important communications that is going to be happening for a lot of aries people it could be that you have been thinking about this person 
for quite a long time and you will finally have the guts <laughs> finally having the guts to actually contact them so that's actually quite of a huge possibility so uh over here we have the here the card of perception emotional release and the card of omen so this is really more of a situation we're in you know we are now changing our mind and perception has a lot to do with how we see things how we view things how we are in the past and how we are now you know um, maybe you have been dreaming about that person and maybe you have been thinking about them you're seeing them more often or you know they keep popping in your head and in your mind and you know that is actually giving you a signal like of a, an omen of some kind that maybe i should go ahead and do this you know there is something in the situation that is making you fluctuate with whatever decisions that you have already done in the past so that's really what we're picking up over there and over here we have the card of duality which is all about you know your relationship with your um it's the relationship basically as a whole and it usually talks about unions and coming together of some sort and we have here the card of struggle and um this is basically you know um literally exactly what i mentioned earlier we're in you know there there could be some form of relationship that you know you you might be wanting that person and maybe you know you had a strong tie with that person but it's just really very difficult you know there's some form of struggle here so and the last card we have is the reunion of souls and i really like this card because it makes me feel that you know there has been a struggle in a relationship and we're seeing that but um it also is a situation wherein we are somehow willing to it's like we're we're ready right now you know we're ready to resolve whatever struggles that we had in that relationship and we are willing to to work something out we're willing to to adjust or um some form of effort is being done right now you know it makes me feel that this is not just about one person it makes me feel that two people two person in this relationship in this situation are now um putting down the walls between them they are now lowering lowering their guard and they are now becoming more open to the possibilities of being together or in in action in at the very least trying to to fix a relationship trying to be more open to the fact that yeah we could still fix this i am still willing to be open to you even though it's just in a very spiritual and psychic way so um there is a situation that we are seeing like that so it could be a situation wherein we are now willing to face that person that we run away from in the past so that's basically what the reading is all about so maybe a sudden phone call is going to be occurring for for you for the month of may and that is going to be the the main theme um this month and how that conversation goes is definitely going to be another story but um i really feel that this is really more turning into a positive state of mind we're in we're in you are quite ready you're ready to face your fears you're re you're ready to make uh some form of conclusion confrontation you're doing what is necessary something and it's going to make you feel more at ease i feel or the very least again whoever this person is because um i kind of feel that one way or another whatever has happened in that in this relationship in that relationship has been bogging them you know something in their heart feel heavy uh, there's just something that doesn't make them feel entirely okay with living life 
even though you guys might not have any form of contact or communication for quite a long while. So uh, with this, uh, with the action and happening that of how things can actually flow for the month of May, um, it's going to be a breath of fresh air and it will feel as if some form of burden has been lifted off from this person. And that can really open a lot of path into a wonderful a new beginning or a new partnership regardless of whether you actually go into a real love relationship or friendship you know it really depends but this is about you fixing a relationship being more open now and really facing that person or a situation head on and not running away and um not running away and and feeling quite difficult and unpleasant due to some form of conscience going on inside of you so um yeah we do expect some form of happening and whoever this egoistic person is um something is going to happen to them that will lower their guard and maybe their their heart that has been turned into ice is going to melt melt down and um i kind of feel that they're now they're slowly going to be opening some form of situation in their life in their emotional life that will allow them to attune to the person that they truly are you know and wake up <laughs> from from dreams or <laughs> reality that they need to face as a whole so this is my reading for you guys, Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. If you do want a more personal reading just like this or something very specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website. Uh, you can go to indostarsbychrissy.com. I'll put the link in the description below this video. And yeah, if you want to book a reading with me, just do that. I'll see you guys again next month. Goodbye.